Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying four beverages that Michael sent us. Thank you very, very much, Michael. Uh, he, he actually sent us two other ones, but we had reviewed them in the past. So we just get to enjoy those, and we're going to try these four. These, are, these two are from Boots Beverages. So this is the Lemon Meringue Soda, and this is Dewberry Soda. Uh, this one is the Cool Mountain Raz, uh, Raspberry, and this one is the Premium Fitz's Berry Pomegranate. So, we are going to start with the lemon. Um, it says, Myrtle was Boots' sister and the go-to whenever cash was short. Striking a balance between sweet and sour, this lemon treat naturally reminds us of her. Uh, one sip and this intriguing balance is yours. So, she was uh, sweet and sour, Aunt Myrtle. Uh, natural flavors, caffeine-free, gluten-free, made with pure cane sugar. It is a 12-ounce bottle. Uh, they are made in Belleville, Texas, and this bottle is 170 calories. I'll let you take the first drink. That's lemony. It almost tastes like a, you know the meringue they put on top of a lemon pie with the big thick meringue, mm -hmm. the puffy white part? Mm -hmm. That's what that tastes like with a little bit of lemon. That kind of whipped up sugar. Thing. That's what it tastes, it tastes like mm. lemon, but then again it tastes like a cooked lemon sugar. That's mm -hmm. what I'm getting. Yeah. Cooked it does, lemon. It tastes just like a lemon, lemon yeah. cream pie. Yeah. Um, I very much like the flavor of that. Yeah, it's, it's the meringue. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, definitely the meringue. It's very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. I really, I don't get a lot of tartness though, but I mean, I'm glad. I'm happy yeah. about that, but it's very, very sugary sweet, and it just tastes like a cooked lemon to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to better it's, say it's, that. It's a stronger meringue flavor than it is a lemon flavor. Yes. Yeah, uh, but it is like a dessert in a in a bottle yeah. for sure. The liquefied pie. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So this is the dewberry. It says Mark Kristen. Mark was five when when sorting returned bottles. Oh, okay, I get it. Mark was five when sorting returned bottles. Barefooted, of course. At seven, he ventured a tad from the family soda business. He picked dewberries along the Santa Fe tracks and sold them on highway 36. he gave his first 14 dollar profit to dd Dee Dee so she could buy a poodle puppy dd Dee Dee later sold mark her interest in kdc mark suggests you be real sweet to your mother <laughs> i like that they put the picture of the person on well, there you assume and, it's the picture yeah of the I, would, I bet it is I bet, just that, some random I bet that's <laughs> really him this is 170 calories A lot of people still do uh, return bottles. We don't buy a lot of bottles, um, but a lot of people still like take those to the grocery store and get and get money for that. Right here, L eight's the one you do. Yeah, L eight. Um, I like that. I like it. It's different. It's a it's a different berry flavor than what I'm used to. It yes. has a blueberry blackberry kind of flavor. Um, I agree. It. Um, yeah. If I had to say what that tastes like, it would be. Um, stronger on the blueberry, but it does seem like it's a combination of both of those, mm -hmm. blueberry and blueberry. Yeah, it's nice and sweet. Yes, it's once again very, very sweet. I could absolutely drink the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I actually like it home. better than the lemon, but... Um, I could go with either one. I really yeah. could because they're both... I think the lemon is sweeter. To me, it's, it comes across as sweeter, but I really do like the flavor of that dewberry. Mm -hmm. It's good. So now this is a completely different brand. This is called Cool Mountain uh, Raspberry, uh, R-A-Z-Z -Z Berry, um, made with pure cane sugar. It's 160 calories. It's caffeine free, and it is made in Des Plaines, Illinois. I-L, Illinois. Okay. So it's caffeine free too? There was some on the inside of the lid. Visit us at www.coolmountain.com. I don't know if I like that or not. I don't mind it, but it's very different than what I... 
I thought it would be like a, a blue raspberry and blue raspberry is sometimes it's too strong. This is actually a lighter version. It's really light. But it has kind of a, there's some kind of an artificial element to it that I, I'm not mm -hmm. loving. It, it's not like pure sweet like a piece of candy, like a piece of blue raspberry candy or um yeah, there's other, something about it. I just, I just, I wouldn't pick again to drink. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, I could drink it. I could. I definitely. could, but I wouldn't buy it again. I don't like the artificial flavor that's yeah. that's in it. It's and, just, and the flavor is light too. So what, even once mm -hmm. you get it, it's kind of light. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be my go-to mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the uh, premium Fitz's since 1947 berry pomegranate Fitz's bottling company, St. Louis, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fitz'sRootBeer.com. We have tried Fitz's before, so you just have to search the channel. I have a whole playlist of drinks and beverages. I wish I hadn't have done it that way, honestly, because every drink in, we've ever had in there. Coffee, tea, cola, milks, you know, everything, but it's all under there. But if you type Tammy Dunn Fitz's, uh, you should come up with something. Uh, this is also a 12 ounce bottle. It is 180 calories. Okay. Nothing in that one. I actually really like that. Uh, it's berry pomegranate. So you do get, I think, both flavors. You yep. do get a berry flavor. It it um, it does have a candy, a sweet candy flavor to it though. Yeah. Um, I could see that in a piece of candy, actually, a piece yes. of hard candy that you like to suck on a piece of hard candy. Yes, that would make that, that would make a really good hard candy. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that they make berry pomegranate hard candy, but it is. <laughs> it, it you would know, be a good flavor. And it even has kind of a like a melon flavor yeah. and it, 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 there's something in there that's reminding me of like a melon. I could see that. Um, but they, I do like it. They make those little discs that are like almost clear. They're, they're color, but they're, they're, you can see right. through them. Yeah. Those kind of candies are using like fruit flavors. That would be, that's that what I can picture one being there. one. Yeah. Of those. yeah. Now, it's really good. it is good. I would not want it all the time. I, I would, would eat it, but occasionally. Yeah, yeah. I would get tired of it. So like, Fitz's makes, like they said, they make root beer, and um, I know we've had something, maybe we've had the regular and the diet. I know we've had a couple things from Fitz's. Um, it wouldn't be in all the time, but it could definitely be in the rotation. Right. Um, what is your favorite one here? Probably the the dewberry. I kind of like that one. Um, I like probably the the lemon or the dewberry. I could go either way. Either probably yeah. the lemon for me, but I do like. I mean, it's the dewberry's just right behind it. Um, so thank you very much, Michael, for sending these to us. Um, it's always fun to try new drinks because we go to uh, like World Market. They have drinks, and and we've tried most we've of tried those. Tried pretty much everything. Um, They're very expensive too. Yes, and then we also check at uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Which is Barrel. Also very expensive. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. Even if you don't want to eat Cracker Barrel, we we usually don't eat there. We just go in and shop and leave. Um, but uh, it's a nice place to go in and mill around the uh, the store. But they have a lot of different drinks to offer too. Is there any place else that has a lot of different drinks? Mm -hmm. No, you occasionally get them here and there at like Marshalls and Home Goods, but that's true. Occasionally, very occasionally, occasionally. Uh, like Home Goods will get like the Jones soda, yeah. and you'll get some of those. Uh, Big Lots occasionally will get some different drinks. Uh, yeah, places like that, but. We, if we want the best selection of bottles, we have to go to Jungle Gems International Market yeah, in Ohio. Wow. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. It's just like bottles as far as the eye can see. It's a beautiful sight. It really is. Uh, but thank you. We really, really appreciate getting to try these. If, if any of you have tried them or know anything about them, you'll have to let us know your thoughts. And thanks for watching.